Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be working on the second problem from the weekly contest 374 and its minimum number of coins to be added. And in the problem, you're given a zero indexed array coins representing the values of the coins and an integer target. An integer x is available if there exists a subsequence of coins that sums up to x. Return the minimum number of coins that we need to add to the coins to make every single number from one to target. So let's take a look at the first example. So we have coins one, four, 10. And they are saying we need to add 2 and 8. So if we add 2 and 8, then we would have coins 1, 4, 1, 2, 4, 8, 10. And now we can make every single number from 1 to 19. Let's just show that really quickly. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and finally 19. So these are the coins we need to add. Now in the second example, they tell us we're trying to get one through 19, so we only need to add the coin two. I'm not gonna show every single coin here again, but this is the coin we need to add, and then we would be able to make every number from one through 19. Over here, we would need to add four, eight, and 16. So first, what we need to do is we need to develop intuition on how to do this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have some coins and we're just going to show like what numbers we can make. So let's say we have coins one. Let's actually go to, uh, let's see here. Let's go to this example over here, this one, four, 10. And let's just see what numbers we can make. So let's just start with one. Like, can we make one? Obviously we can, right? Now, can we make two? So, so also keep in mind, if we can make one, let's say our range of numbers we can make now is just one for now. And also we want to have this um, sorted because it's going to be easiest to see like what numbers we can make. So first we're going to sort the array and then we're going to look like what things we can make. So we can make one now. Can we make two? We can't reuse the same coins. Obviously we can't make two because we have one, but we don't have a two and we can't, we don't have any coins that would add up to two. So let's just see what happens. Let's let's actually have this be like a separate array of the coins we're using so far. So we've used one. Now let's try to add in this coin two and let's see what happens. So if we add coin two, now we can obviously make two, but our range of numbers we, we could make before was one. And now we added this coin two and let's see what happens. So now by adding this coin two, we can make two, but we can also make three. Right, so the range of numbers we could make increased from one to three. Now let's keep going. So we can make three. Now let's try to make four. So four, we do have a coin in this array that we can just use directly, right? So we would just use four. So the range we could make before was three, but what other numbers can we make, right? And that's really what we need to figure out. We need to figure out what other numbers can we make by adding this four. So we can make four, what about five? We can make five as well. We can make six and we can make seven. So by adding four, now the range of numbers we can make went from one through three to one through seven. So notice every time we add a number, this is gonna keep repeating. Every time we add a number, let's say we could make a range one to N. Anytime we add a number that is let n plus one or less so we can write that down so every time we add a number that is less than or equal to n plus one our range increases by that number and this is the, really the key takeaway you need to know for this problem so if our range was one through three and we added a four four is n plus one our range now went to one through seven. Similarly, if we had, let's say our range was one through three with this one, two, and we just added like a one, now our range should increase by one. And that makes sense, right? Because if we can make one through three, if we can also use an extra one, then we can make all of these numbers and add one. So now our range should be one through four, but you can't add a number that's too big. So let's say we had one, two, and now we added like a hundred. We can't add a hundred because now there's still all these numbers we can't make, right? We can't make like four, five, six, seven, and so on. So this is the main takeaway that we need is what, if we have a complete range of numbers we can make, we can add numbers that are within this range or one greater, and we can increase our range and we can do this in linear time. So let's keep going and try to see if this holds up. 
So with this, we can make one through seven. Now the next number we are, or we, we, can, we can first look like, can we add that number? So we added these coins already. Now we could see like, can we even add 10 here? What's the next number we're trying to make? The next number we're trying to make is eight. So if the next number we're trying to make is eight, we can't add 10 because 10 is too big. So we would have to add eight. So if, you, if we can't add a number from the coins that fits in this criteria, this one to end criteria, that means we have to add a new number. So we'd have to add eight into here because we can't make it. So we'd have to have now one, two, four, and eight. And our range was one through seven. So now if we add eight, we should theoretically be able to now make one through 15. And so we showed one through seven. So here's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 is the whole thing. So indeed that does work. So now we can make one through 15. So now the next number we need to try to make is 16, right? And we can check again in our coins, what's our next available coin? Our next available coin is 10. We can make one through 15. So we can add 10 to our coins that we're using to extend our range. So we add 10, now our range is one through 25. And indeed we can do that. And now our range covers the target so we're basically done. So the algorithm is something like keep track of range we can make, keep adding coins when we can to extend the range. If there's a number we can't make because next coin is too big, then have to add that coin. So let's walk through another example with this next one. So we'll go through this one right here and then we'll like try to uh, figure out exactly how it works now that we know kind of what we need to be doing. So first remember we need to sort because we need to figure out like what's the order of the coins to add in an increasing order because it's gonna make it easier for us. So we're gonna have one, four, five, seven, and yeah, the key to this problem is basically realizing that if there's a range of one to n you can make, you can add any coin from or less than or equal to n plus one, and then you will increase the range. You're essentially moving the goalpost and getting a greedy solution. So let's walk through this. So our range we can make right now is zero. We haven't added anything, right? So now what we need to do is we need to go through the coins. So our range is zero to zero. And we need to get our range from zero to 19. This is the range we're looking for. Okay, so zero to zero, we're on this coin. So first of all, is the current coin within the range we can add? And it is, right? So this is this is i. So we can add anything up to i plus one. So this would be i plus one. So we can add coin one into our coins. Now what's the range we can make? Well, it's gonna be the old range, which is just zero, plus the coin we added. So now our range we can make is you can write zero one as well, but we don't really need the zero. So we're just gonna say one, one. That's the range we can make. Now we need to make, the next coin we need to make is, or sorry, what we need to do is we can see if we can add any more coins. So we can't add any more coins because the next coin is over here and the range we can make is one to one. So then, so the biggest coin we could add here would be a two. And because this is four, we can't add this. And the next number we need to make that we're missing, we can make one to one but the next number we need to make is just outside this range, so it is two. So we can't make this two in any way, so two is the coin we would need to add. Let's maybe draw it in blue. So we're gonna add this coin two. Now we're gonna increase our range. So our range was one to one. Now if we added two, now our range should be one through three, right? We could make one to one, but now that we added this number, our range increases by whatever we added. And that makes total sense, right? Because if we can make one, then we could obviously make two over here and we can also make three. So that's that's kind of the intuition for it. Now let's keep going. So now we could see if we could add this five. We can't add the five because it's outside of the range we can make. The or Actually, sorry, we skipped one more. We skipped this number over here. So we need to see if we can add the four. And we can't add the four because if this is the last number, the, remember the biggest number we can add is n plus one. So four would let us cover the next one, right? We're looking for four and it would also extend our range. So we're gonna add this four from up here and we're gonna extend this range. So it's gonna be three plus four, so it's gonna be seven. And that makes sense once again, because if we can make any number one through three, 
that means we can also make any number four through seven because we can just take we can take the one through three from the first part and then we can just add the four to make all those numbers right one plus four two plus four three plus four so on so now the range we can make is one through seven now we're going to keep going to the next number see if we can add this to our range five is within our range so we can add the five and we're going to extend our range again so it's going to be seven plus five so now the range of numbers we can make is 12 with these numbers now we're going to check can we add the seven yes we can add the seven yeah so we can add the seven so uh if we add the seven then whatever our range be it'll be 19. so we'll add the seven now we'll check can we add the 10 yes we can and once again this makes total sense right if we can make with our previous numbers if we can make every number from 1 to 19 then we can make every number from 1 to 29 if we add the 10 because we can take any number 1 through 19 whatever we want just add a 10. so if we wanted like 23 we can we can make a 13 from here and then we can just add the 10. so by being able to make any number in a range and adding a number now you can make any number from there to uh, that range plus 10 as long as the number you're adding is 20 or less right you can't add like 100 here and make any number from 1 to 119 because you you wouldn't be like 20 21 and so on so now that we add the 10 here our range increases to 29 and we added the 10 into our coins and now can we add 19 to our range so I think we can actually stop here yeah so we can stop we don't even need this 19 coin like as soon as the range we can make we can we could have actually even stopped before making the 10. so we could have stopped before adding this 10 and just with these coins here you can make every number 1 through 19 right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh 11 12 let's see 12 13 and then so on right so you can keep doing this 12 so 14 and so on and so on and so on so with just with these numbers you can make 1 through 19. so once again our algorithm one more time is keep track of range we can make keep adding coins while we can if the range includes target then we are done and if there's a number we're missing and can't add coins then add that coin so pretty straightforward it is kind of tricky to come up with this like range um the range you can make and the number adding moves moving the range but i think it's not too bad and it is a trick that's used in other problems and also funny enough this is a medium problem there's literally a hard problem that's basically word for word this that's why I do think this is like a little tougher than a medium problem, kind of tricky to understand this range you can make situation. Okay, but now we should have enough to um, code it up. So, so what we need to do is we need to have a couple of variables here, right? So we're going to have a result is the number of coins we add. And we're also going to have the number, which will be like the right bound of the range we can make. And we'll have an index in the coins array. So first we want to sort the coins. Then we want to say while our range is less than the target, right? So while the range we can make is less than the target, then we need to keep adding coins. Otherwise, if our range is bigger than the target, then we can already make everything up to the target and we're done. So we can say if i is less than length of the coins, right? We want to actually have like a coin available. So if there's a coin available and the coin is within the range we can make, and what's the range we can make? It's going to be like if the range we can make is one, then we can have any coin that's two or less. So it's gonna be whatever the range we can make plus one. So if coin's i is less than or equal to num plus one, then we can use that coin and add it to the range we can make. So we'll just say num plus equals coin's i, and we can increase the index. Otherwise, what we need to do is we need to add one to the result because we need to introduce a new coin here. And let's say, uh, let's say the range we can make was one and we add a coin two, the, the new range you can make is going to be the old number plus whatever the coin you added, right? And the, and the coin you're always going to want to add is the coin right above the range you can make. So if we can make one, but we can't make two, then we're going to add two. If we can make like three, then we're going to add a, then we're going to want to add coin four and so on. You're going to want to add num plus one. Here. That's the best coin to add. That's going to increase our range the most. And then finally, we can return the result. And let's take a look. And success. 
and there we go. So it's pretty efficient. There's not too many solutions, so I wouldn't be super concerned about this, but yeah. So essentially that's kind of the trick is you figure out what range you can make and any number that you add that's within that range or one bigger, we'll keep extending that range and we can do this. Let's think of the time complexity for this one. So we have this coins and this target. So coin sort, let's just say coins is like C and then target is T. So it's going to be like C log C. Then we need to go through all of our coins. So we're going to say to go through all of our coins is going to we don't necessarily actually. Yeah. So worst case, we're going to have to go through all of our coins. So that's going to be O of C. And then worst case for our target. Um, it's kind of tricky to actually think of like how like what's the worst case for your target. I guess maybe it would be like if every coin is like length one and you would have to go like add one coin at a time, but that would still be O of C. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure here because if you do go through all your coins, like that would be O of C, but that wouldn't be O of T. Um, so this could probably be a little better. And then if you do go through all your coins, essentially what you're doing is you're just doubling your target. So maybe it's like, I feel like if you just keep doubling your target, then it's, it might be even something like this, like log T or something, right? Because you, you do have to go through all your coins, but then anytime you don't pick a coin, you essentially double your target or your, your number. So if you double your number, like you, you, to get to the target would just be log of the target. So I think this is probably more accurate than like T. I think this is um, probably okay. And someone can correct me if I'm wrong here. It's kind of a tricky one to figure out for sure. Um, but either way, it's obviously going to be better than like for our constraints. Uh, I think anything n log n or better passes, and this is obviously going to be better. So for the space, um, I think it's just O of 1 because we sorted our coins, but we didn't have any other inputs. Yeah, I think there's all, also a way to do this in linear time, but then you have to have like a hash map. So it's kind of like preference. So this is in um, n log n time, but you don't need any other space. And yeah. I think definitely kind of a tricky one for like a second contest problem, but kind of good one to learn. And now you can remember this pattern of this uh, range you can make and extending it for other problems because you probably will see it in the future. So hopefully you like this one. And if you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.